Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a JK flip flop for Quartus in VHDL. First we're going to open up a new VHDL file. First we're going to define which library we are using. Then use IEEE SCD underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all. Next, you're going to define the entity. I'm going to call it JK test is. And then you're going to start putting in your ports. So the ports for this, we're going to use negative clock. And I'll tell you guys why in a little bit. J and K. And that will be in SCD underscore logic. Now, for the output, it's a little different. Instead of out, we're going to buffer, which pretty much means Q is an input and an output. And then SCD underscore logic again. And there you go. Then you will end the entity being defined. Now the architecture is a little bit crazy. So first architecture arc of JK test is and now you're going to signal JK as a vector CD underscore logic underscore vector and then that vector will be 1 down to 0 hold on let me just there we go and then put a semicolon there. Then we do begin. And JK is equal to J and K together. And now we begin the process. We will process all of the inputs. begin and then we begin our if then statement so if the negative clock is an event if if the event is defined as negative so if nc event so pretty much nc at an edge and the edge is going from 1 to 0 Then case JK is when it is zero zero goes the Q. So pretty much this defines if it's zero, if j is zero and k is zero, q is equal to q. When it is zero one, k will be armed to reset. So it'll be equal to zero. Then, we'll 
will do when it's 1, 0, it'll arm Q to set. So Q would be equal to 1. And then finally, when it's 1, 1, so when J is 1 and K is 1, Q will be the pr inverted Q pretty much. So whatever it was before, it'll be different. It'll pretty much invert what was there before. And now we have to make sure that when others Q will be Q but that will not happen in the waveform. Then we end the case, end the if statement, end the process, and then end the architecture. And there we go. Now all we have to do is just start compiling. And then click new. And we'll create a new university program or waveform. We'll do grid size. at 500 nanoseconds and then do the end time as 16 microseconds and now just wait for it to compile it'll be a little bit longer because it's a longer VHDL This part usually goes a little quicker. And we are now all set. So now the nodes will be in there. If we were to insert them, go to node finder, list them. The clock will be on account of one microsecond and now we're gonna have J start at two and a half and then end at four and a half and then when it hits four and a half then K We'll just keep going throughout. And I'll show you guys what will happen. And then from six and a half on, so basically at the negative edge, it'll pretty much tell us if it's zero zero or one one or zero one one zero so over here it'll be zero zero so Q will be Q which would have been previously zero if Q so say right right over here this is one zero this is causing this to set. So Q will go high over here and it'll stay high until this edge right here. And then it'll go to a reset which will cause it to go low. And then it'll rise again and then fall again, rise again, then fall again. So pretty much it'll buffer. So now we just 
run the simulation. And there we go. As you can see right here, it sets over the negative edge and then resets over here because of the zero one. And then since it's one one over here, it inverts this. One one over here inverts this, and it'll become zero, and so on and so forth. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe.